Abba Father, thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for your love and for your care. Lord, even as we look at uh, marriages, how we, we, I mean, the desires that you have for the marriage and the intentions, dear Father, we pray that, Lord, you will encourage us, dear Father, to honor you, dear Lord. We bless you and we worship you. And we, we open up our hearts, dear Lord, to hear from you. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. A very good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We are glad that you you could find time to join this devotion and I pray that the Lord will speak to you. We have been looking at marriages. We have been praying for our marriages and uh, we are asking ourselves what was the intention of God and what was the desire of God for marriages. And one of the things that has come up is that God wants us to trust in Him. God wants us to lift our marriages to him and to focus on him. And so we are going to look at um, Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2. The word of God says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Uh, God is telling us to focus on him, on him, to trust in him, to put our marriages in his hands because he's the one who has created him. He desires that we allow him to lead. And when he says that we lift our eyes to him, because that is where our help comes from. So I want to encourage anyone who is married today that lift your marriage to Christ, lift your face to him, focus on him, because he says that is where our help comes from. He's the maker of heaven and earth. There's also verse 3 that says, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Our God will not slumber. So when you allow your marriage to be in his hands, you trust in him, whatever it is, if you need, if, if it's a couple that is in need of a child and they're trusting God for a child, lift your eyes to him. If you're trusting God for provision of your household as the head of the family, if you're trusting God for, for anything, just lift your marriage to him. And he who does not slumber hears us. So let's commit our marriages to God. Our Father in heaven, we thank you and we bless you, Lord. God, we know that your intentions and your desires for marriage are, are good, dear Lord. You're the one who created marriage, dear Lord. You're the one who brought, who, who created man and you, you gave him a helper a woman and God I pray dear father for the marriages that we have dear Lord we want to commit them to you dear Lord I know the enemy is not happy where there is unity we know the enemy is not happy for a marriage that is working father and he the enemy will bring anything to destroy a marriage dear Lord but God because we know you because we know you are a father who cares about us you are a father who does not sleep neither do you slumber Lord we bring our marriages to you dear father we commit them to you Lord and I pray that Lord that couples will learn to trust in you that couples will learn to look up to you to lift their their eyes to you dear father no matter what they will not have plan b's they will not go out there and look for solutions but they'll come to you you will be their only hope their only help dear father god we commit them to you dear father we so commit children dear lord to you i pray for a spirit of obedience among us the children dear father god we know the enemy 
wants to break marriages, dear Father. But God, you created, dear Father, and you brought unity, Lord, in marriages. So we speak your unity, dear Father. Despite the challenges, dear Lord, I pray that they will trust in you, dear Lord. I pray that, Father, there's no husband who will go out there and look for help somewhere else. There's no wife who will go out there and look for help somewhere else, but they will choose to focus on you, dear Lord. They'll choose to bring their troubles to you, dear Lord. For anyone who is trusting you, Lord, for the fruit of the womb, dear Father, you're the one, oh Lord, who blesses you, your children, dear Father. You're the one who opens the womb, dear Father. So we, we pray, dear Lord, for them, dear Lord. We pray for their heart's desires, dear Father, and we commit them to you. And we pray that, Lord, you shall open wombs, dear Father. For those who are trusting you for provision, dear Lord, for those who are trusting you, dear Lord, for unity, oh God. I pray that, Lord, your power will be upon them, dear Father. I pray that your spirit will be upon marriages, Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. I pray that, Lord, your desires and intentions will be so clear, Lord, to the couples that, Lord, they will not miss out on, on you, dear Father. We pray for strength upon marriages, dear Lord. We, we, we speak your power upon them, dear Father. We pray for protection upon marriages, dear Lord. Those who know, know you, dear Lord, may they testify, dear Father, that God, you have held their marriages, oh Father. We thank you and we bless you, dear Lord. For those, Lord, who are trusting you, Lord, for their marriages to be mended, dear Lord. For those who are crying out to you, dear Lord, may you hear their cry, Father. May you hold on, on them, dear Father, even as they call on you, dear Father. Remember them, dear Lord. Father, we know that whatever is placed in your hands, dear Lord, you will take care of it, dear Father, and you will guard it, dear Lord. So remember the marriages, dear Father, and I pray that, Lord, they shall trust in you, dear Father. They shall look up to you, dear Lord, because that is where their help comes from, dear Father. We honor you, we bless you, and we say thank you, Lord, because you are a good Father. You are a loving Father. You are a faithful God. Blessed be thy name. And God, we want to commit this day into their hands, even as we go, dear Lord to our workplaces, our businesses, dear Father. For those who are going to school, oh God, remember them, dear Lord. We commit the day to you. Go before us and hold our hands, dear Lord. We worship you and we honor you. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. Have a beautiful day and God bless you. Lord,
Maski